The pirate siege war is similar to our last siege war, but this time we're fighting each other. Three versus three players trying to sink each other's ships. There's a new Krabby Patty NPC in Battleon that'll take you to the siege war. When you enter, you'll automatically be on a team, either the Yellow Bracken team or the Blue Crossbones team. And the first team to get two points wins. Start by accepting the quests for the items used to defeat the other team. To complete the quest, defeat the mobs to collect siege tokens. To use these items, click on the highlighted weapons or areas. Most players have been focusing on using the cannons and cannonballs because it does the most damage. Make sure to communicate with your team and let them know when you're crafting the cannon or cannonballs. And make sure to keep the cannons away from the mobs and out of the red zones because they can be destroyed. Usually one player will craft the cannon while the other two craft the cannonballs. One strategy that works well is to have all three players craft the cannonballs and then have one player craft a cannon while the other two craft the cannonballs. You can then all shoot and it will do enough damage to earn one point quickly. Unused siege tokens get cleared after each war. The losing team gets a sunken ship and the plundered goods chest. And the winning team gets the plundered hoard chest, which also drops the black market goods. The winners also have access to the new title. Just go past the exit and follow the shoreline until you get right... here. And in case you ever miss a title, stick around because they respawn pretty quickly. Now you can craft the new Pirate Siege gear. To craft these sets, you can use the plundered goods to craft the plundered loot items. You'll also need some tailoring dies from Winnie. There's also a new daily quest to earn 50 plundered goods. To complete the quest, you'll need black market goods from the winning chest. You can also buy it with 500 DC, 